guys, welcome to Better Bachelor, uh, land, what are you doing? land, uh, land, uh, clearing slash update edition. Um, Walker and I are out here and I thought I'd show you guys kind of how the land's coming along. Um, it used to look like this. This is my trailer. I, I brought everything. Used to look like this everywhere. And as you can see, we already have some road cut in and they've come out and put in some fist-sized gravel. And this is Walker and Mai's first chance to see how everything is coming along. So for the, um, I don't know what you want to see, me or the road. I'll show you a little bit of both as we go. What they're doing is, is where they cut it all in and it was dirt. They're putting in really large uh, rocks to kind of, and then as the trucks come in, uh, sorry. <laughs> you can tell I don't have a selfie stick. Uh, as the trucks come in to cut the way through, you can see they've cleared um, the branches above the road as much as necessary. I, I asked them to, I asked them to kind of keep as much woodland in here as they can. Uh, that way, um, uh, I, I just want it shady and comfortable and cool, and uh, that way I don't have to worry about it. Uh, as you can see, I've got Faithful Boy Walker here. We're just going to go in and, and check everything out and see how things... And I have my headset on because it's a better microphone, I think, uh, than my phone. So, as you can see, we cut the road all the way down in here. And if it gets too long, I'll I'll take this and edit it and fast-forward it through. Uh, so you guys can kind of see everything that's, that's coming along here. But it's uh, I decided to go with gravel instead of paved. And what they're going to do is they use the fist size stones at first, and then um, here, let me put you over on this side, but come over this side. Um, come over this side, this side. Um, and then once the heavy trucks push that in, they'll go smaller, like marble sized, and then they'll they'll finish off with like a crushed gravel. And that way, uh, they said this will be smooth and hard, almost like a, a driveway, and they can always seal it up. Uh, I don't know exactly what seal it up means, but um, but it's quite a it's quite a ways in here. Um, they've still got to bring more gravel out, but again, you can kind of see how how far it is there to the entrance. Come on, buddy, this way. Um, so my plans are that um, I'm going to do a one-story home. Um, I may cut in a floor plan of my house plans. I'm going to do a one story and I'm going to do a two bedroom instead of a three. I dropped out one of the bedrooms so I can make the other bedroom, uh, the second bedroom bigger. Um, because I, I find I never use a, the third bedroom for anything. Uh, and then I'm going to put in a basement and because that's about the cheapest square footage you can do since it's already got roof over it. I was going to do a studio above the garage, but it, it turns out that was just going to be too expensive. Uh, and I was going to do a, like a really big 36 by 36 um, uh, three bay garage, but that's with lumber right now. That's going to come in close to uh, 200, 250 grand. So instead I'm going to do a, a kind of a regular sized garage. I'll put in about a four uh, 400 to 600 square foot basement, and that'll be where my studio, my recording studio, uh, for my videos will be. And then, uh, oh wow, they did a great job out here. Uh, so here's what we're looking at. You can see we're coming, coming up into the opening. They, they've still got more gravel to pour. It's going to take several truckloads because, like I said, it's a long, a long driveway. Um, and then I'll have my studio downstairs and the second bedroom for guests or. You know, if something happens with mom in her later years, and uh, they said that she might be at risk for macular degeneration. Uh, so if something happens along there and uh, and she needs to stay with me, I could always turn my studio into a third bedroom and, and, and stick my studio, I don't know, somewhere else. Maybe get an outbuilding or something with a little air conditioning. I'll figure it all out. So here's the, the future site of the bachelor pad. As you can see, they've done a lot of land clearing. They're pretty much taking out just the pine and the scrub. And uh, mainly what I need for just the base of the home. So uh, beyond here, there's a nice little hill uh, that's kind of... Here, let me take your leash off. Come here. Yeah, you can go wander. Um, 
there's a nice hill. So this is really, my, that entrance right there is probably one or two acres because I only have a little strip that comes down. So it's like a, looks like a frying pan, like a square frying pan. So it's a big square sp spot of land with a little thumb that meets up to the road. And we just walk down that thumb, that's my driveway. And then I got the 25 acres out here. So this is really the first acre or two into the land and the rest is just all wild. Off this way, off this, this way, I've got uh, some neighbors several acres away behind the woods. This way you can, uh, there's a hill that drops off to the other half of my land. And this way is a little road that I'm gonna have cut in and probably out this way is where I'm gonna put, cause it's relatively flat up top here. So this way I'll probably have, have them clear out three or four acres this way. And I'll put some uh, crops and plants in, but as you can see, it's nice. It's coming along nicely. The area, um, I know logistically, like this is just all pictures, like you guys can't see the layout here, but, uh, but down this way, and I don't know how well it shows up on camera here. But down this way is a very overgrown road where back in 93, the people that originally bought the land, they never, they bought it, th uh, three siblings, I guess, and they never did anything with it. But uh, I don't know if that even shows up on camera. Anyway, you can see right here, there's, it was a previously cut road and it's all coarse grown in, but I'm going to have them walk. Come on. I'm gonna have them uh, uh, cut it all in again. And then, so over here will be the house. Over on the other side, I can put uh, some, maybe a couple of acres to do some farming on it. I want to, where the hill comes down here, I wanna put in a duck pond. And so, so there you go. That's kind of where, that's kind of all the update there. What do you think, hmm? Does this work for your future house? Hey. Does this work for your future house? Huh? <laughs> so that's uh, that's where we are so far. Um, they're going to be cutting in a line to bring in power from the road. I hope to put in solar. I don't need a lot of it. I'm not going to put it up on the roof of the house. I want it to be able to be maintained from ground level. So I hope to put in a little bit of solar. Not enough to run the air conditioning and and everything else, but I'd like enough solar to run my studio and a fridge and a refrigerator and small electric things it not even heat like i i, I don't even want enough uh, electricity to run heat because i'm mostly going to be um all this all the the good decent timber that they're pulling out of here uh, i plan to keep not the pine but if they have to take out any hardwoods although they said they're going to try to save as many of the hardwoods as they can uh keep them in the ground for shade and later on uh, but I, I, I plan to have a wood stove for my, my heat and everything like that. So that's where we are. It's just uh, all cleared out here. And it looks a lot bigger than it is. It looks a lot bigger on camera than it is. They still got to do more clearing because this isn't even enough room for the house. They probably have to double. It's a, it's a let me see how many square feet, uh, 1,500 square foot home, something like that. Not too big because it's just me and the dog. So. Anyway, guys, that's an update. Didn't want to make it too long. And uh, thank you guys all for uh, for watching my stuff. I know I've taken the last month off from YouTube. And, and I've done... I, I'm mostly doing live streams on Locals. And then I'll chop off bits off of that and put them over on YouTube. YouTube censorship is just no fun anymore. I think I may... Uh, I think I may just start doing live streams and then that way you guys can support me with like super chats or something. And I don't have to worry about the censorship because... The censorship's no fun anymore, and I'm just not enjoying it. So I may, I may, sorry for wiggling. I keep having flies bite my legs. Uh, I may just do live streams from here on out, either on Locals or YouTube. I don't know. I haven't figured it out, but I'll have something up for you guys soon. Thanks for your support, all that good stuff, and uh, we'll see you soon.